Imagine, every person in here is going to vote, and every person in here is going to get 10 other people to vote. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Let's just go ahead and not go through this thing that it's so close. Let's just win. Yeah! that this is going to decide the direction of our country. We have 87 days to decide the direction we're going to go. And I've been saying it, we can do anything for 87 days. We'll sleep when we're dead. You do not owe 
owe anything to a party that is out of touch and is hell-bent on taking our country backward. <laughs> and by all means, you owe no displaced loyalty to a candidate that is morally and ethically bankrupt. <laughs> In the spirit of the great Senator John McCain, please... Putting country over party and stopping, and stopping Donald Trump, and protecting our, the rule of law, protecting our constitution, and protecting the democracy of this great country. And that is why I'm standing with Vice President Harris and Governor Wallace. Kamala Harris is the capable, just, and fair leader our country deserves from protecting our individual freedoms to leading Congress to solve the issues at our border yes. that former President Bo Trump loves to exploit for his own political purposes. <laughs> that is why we need to elect this ticket who will be the adults in the room. <laughs> we need people who are committed to solving problems and to govern from the center. That's why I'm voting for Kamala Harris and Tim Walker. many great Arizona mayors are supporting this ticket. Welcome my friend and the mayor of Phoenix, Kim
Philadelphia the other night. <laughs> On Wednesday, the largest crowd of the campaign showed up in Detroit, Michigan. <laughs> but Arizona just couldn't leave it alone. <laughs> Yeah. And this building, and what we believe in, we are people. 
people that settle our political differences not through violence, but through voting. Look, you know it, and I know it, but I think we need to be reminded. You know exactly what Donald Trump's plans are. You know which And you know that if he goes back again, he's not only going to let go where he left off, it is going to be much, much, much worse. So the rising costs, pulling health care from us, I know I'm preaching to the choir, a damn big and beautiful choir. But practice is over, people. The choir needs to sing. These guys come up with the weirdest damn ideas that you've ever heard. That's a reality that's not going to happen because the people in this building. This is a campaign about the future. We know what's there. We know it can come. We're not people who are afraid of the future. We shape the future. Kamala Harris believes in the freedom to make their own choices. She believes in the opportunity for every single person to enter the middle class. And she believes something so beautiful. She believes in the promise of America. And I want to say something else that this incredible leader, this incredible woman has brought to this fight. Amen. She, Joy. she has brought back compassion and decency and humor. Future as you join me in welcoming the next president.